on Sailing Blackbird, we are cooking carnitas at Marta and Luca's. You've met Marta and Luca before. Um, Luca's been helping us with all the upgrades and repairs on our boat. And Marta and Luca have agreed to sail with us across the Atlantic uh, when we're able to do the crossing. I'll be cooking with Alessandra, Sebastian's girlfriend, and you've met Sebastian from Seiko Sea Life Discovery in one of our last videos. Hi everyone! I'm here with my friend Alessandra. Hi! Hi guys! And we are going to make carnitas. Um, yes! For all of our friends at La Cazeza, where we are right now, um, this is the second time we're going to make carnitas, because the first time, I think everyone liked them. Yes, a yeah. lot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is round two, and we're going to get started, but first we're going to go out to the garden and grab some of the ingredients that we need. Okay? We have lemon trees, tangerine, orange, almonds, almond trees, what else? Grapefruit. <laughs> Grapes over to the left. It's a fig. That's a fig tree. Yes, maybe. That's huge. And amazing people. And uh, yeah, amazing people. Marta, <laughs> amazing Luca, people. Sebastian and Luca will be the tasters. <laughs> ah, yeah. Sure. Okay, so the bay leaf is right here. Oh, the next to the pomegranate tree. Can I smell? Yeah. I mean, I think if you break up the leaf, it's like... There. It's a little oh, astringent. it's amazing. Excellent. So I love these on carnitas. Mm -hmm. My friend Ellen actually is the one who um, showed me how to use these on carnitas. They're delicious. Wow. Yes. Yeah. wow. She's actually the expert carnitas maker. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, I'm learning everything from her. So Ellen, if you watch this, <laughs> make sure I'm doing this right. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> these are the ingredients for the carnitas. We'll be putting the oranges, the onion, the cinnamon, garlic, bay leaf, cumin, and clove into the pot with the pork. I know. Wow. Look at this thing. Pork shoulder. It's this, amazing. I know. This is from our favorite butcher, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we visit Dimitri and Yanni at the Delicatessen in Lutraki, and he raises all of his own meat for butchering. And um, every time that we go in, he gives us, what, <laughs> handmade soap, <laughs> little prezzies. So thank you, Yanni. Thank we you. love you. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is from their farm. And it's big. I, I don't, I'm having a hard time, um, under, not understanding, but measuring kilos and pounds. <laughs> so I just go in and say, give me a pork shoulder, and this is what I get. So it works for me. So what we're going to do next is just cut off as much fat as we can off of the pork shoulder, cut it into pieces, and put it in the pot with all of that good stuff we just... Uh, that I just showed you. This yeah. is a lot of meat. Yeah. How many people will be there for dinner tonight? Uh, seven. Wow. There's seven of us. But I'm hoping there's going to be leftovers for tomorrow. Ah, okay. or, yeah, so, hopefully. so yeah, this is a lot of meat. <laughs> 
So um, what I'm gonna do is just cut it into large pieces, put it in the pot, and then we can put all the other ingredients. And then we just, they don't have to be perfect. Okay. Because it's gonna cook down and we're gonna shred the meat into pieces, so. I'm trying to come up with food that uh, maybe no one has had before. And yeah, I don't think anyone had carnitas before. Yes, never. No, no one, right? So this was 4.3 kilos, if I remember correctly. I probably could have got more. I'm not gonna worry about cleaning the cutting board uh, because these are all going in the pot and it's mm -hmm. all boiling together, so I'm not worried about any contamination, if that helps. Okay. But this is all we have, so you can dump all of that in. All right here. All that in. Perfect. And then put a teaspoon of that in there. And stick. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, dump that in there. And now this one's a bit trickier because you only want a tiny bit. Maybe just a, like this much. Big <laughs> uh, Even less. <laughs> Perfect, excellent, yeah. See that? And then garlic. Oil. All of the garlic. Oops. And the last bit of that orange. You can throw that in there. Like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and some salt, big pinch of salt, Lady. three of those, Maybe three of these. at least three of those, yeah, one, two, three, perfect, now, we can give it a good stir, and then we'll turn it on and start cooking. And he is an excellent chef. He's an excellent food taster. <laughs> He's got good taste in food. He always knows when there's just the right amount of spice. Always. So, I'm glad he's helping out. Okay, but how long did you boil this? Uh, for about two hours. We'll simmer it. Once it comes to a boil, then we'll simmer it for at least two hours. Okay. Because yeah. I am ready. <laughs> You're ready to eat now. To eat now. <laughs> you have to wait. Well, unfortunately. Okay. More or less. More or less. So since then, we've gone to the beach, we've played slingshots, done yoga. Yeah. Uh, what else? Slingshot. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. Hung out, and now we're ready. So we're taking the meat out of the.
pan. We're gonna let it cool and shred it and put it back in to keep it warm. Does it smell good? Yes. <laughs> Why? It seems amazing. <laughs> yeah. And if there's giant globs of fat, then you can, like if it feels like all fat, you can just put it to the side. Mm. Oh, I want to eat. I know. Try it. I mean, yeah. Chef gets to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I try again. Yes, you try. <laughs> we have to make sure it's good. We could fry this, which would be awesome, in a pan, so the bottom is crispy, but I'm really too tired. And we had it um, this way last time, and it was delicious, so we're going to do Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to make some carnitas. So long from Greece. Bye. <laughs> I don't understand what it is. <laughs> 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 really?